I told you to stay off Broadway. Did you listen? No, of course not. Why would anyone listen to me? I have only made this trip for the past seven years. Just, why don't you go around? I've got a meeting five minutes ago. Okay, this is... Yeah, I could I could walk to Jersey before we hit the corner. Here you go. Yeah, keep the change. Come on. It's okay. Wow. Gardner, sorry, I am late. An utter lack of crema. Excuse me? It's espresso. You realize that in certain regions of Italy, the man who brewed this would be stoned to a swift and certain death. And your point? Whatever you've got for me, it had better be good. That's better than good. This is great. Biofells. Six straight quarters of double-digit growth. Plus, they've just developed a new bacteria that eats garbage. We should pour some of it in a cup of this espresso. <laughs> right. Listen, they're going public in six months. They need $10 million to get them to D-Day, for which you'll get 20% of the issued shares. Not interested. Gardner, that's pure gold. Nothing personal, Martin. But I'm going to play the game with cash. The economy is booming. Cash is useless. Until one parts with it. you got something up your sleeve. Good thing. Are you going to buy Langston? Please don't insult me, Martin. Hey, look, that's fine. Hey, listen, if you don't want to use me on your next deal, then... A handful of patience is worth much more than a bucket full of brains. There is no next deal. Not, uh, not presently, at any rate. And I was just thinking, Martin, the surest way to destroy your enemies is to turn them into friends. Think about it. Cash. Speaking of which, I left all mine in the bank. So good. Blackstone bailed. On Biofeld? Marty, messages? Thanks. You haven't heard anything, have you? Another rate hike? Chinese moving on Taiwan? Getting an early morning start on paranoia, are we? No, no, it's just that... Never mind. Don't look at me. I sold Intel at 15. How's Freddy today? Put it this way. He didn't drop any hints. You mean the cage is clean? This is not good. You don't look sick. Yeah, I know you're just being spiteful. I know, I know. I should have bought Canton Manufacturing. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll see how funny it is when I put x lax into your seed. I'm in Milan. Tell me that's not Stubby Fry out there. Uh, he says he wasn't quite the Merriweather type. Can't argue with that. Oh, but he's so cute. And he's a good trader. Don't worry, Rook. We still love you, best. That's not what I meant. It doesn't compute. Blackstone moved everything into cash. Told you that? Well, no, he implied it. The economy's strong, the market's strong. A buddy of mine over at Lehman heard he was making a play for the Dallas Cowboys. Are we accumulating a war chest? Blackstone in football, I don't think so. He's probably just screwing with you. No, no, I know something. Billionaires always know something. As do our institutional investors. They're jumping in to save the cookie with both feet. We go public in four days, and already my book is 20% oversubscribed. Get you some of that. Get you some of that. Good work, on, good amazing. work. It's amazing. Two kids still hitting the clear cell on their way to being multi- Millionaires. All right, our next order of business, HSD is now going to be the proud owner of a million-dollar state-of-the-art computer system. I whittled them down 10% sent the check this morning. 
Thank the Lord. Oh, what? You don't like waiting two hours for a download? Yeah, even better news. Mace Kramer, our clearinghouse, just increased our margin to, hello, 50%. <clears throat> All right, so anybody got good ideas for our portfolio? Now is the time to jump in. 40% of our portfolio is already on margin, Dave. Your point is? Well, buying on margins alone. In an up market, that's great. But if Marty's right and Blackstone does know something... That's exactly my point. The market tanks, we're margined up the wazoo, we tank with it. Mm -hmm. This from a man who bets against Tiger Woods. <laughs> anyway, you should never ignore wisdom from the mouth of babes. I'm just saying. This is the Biggs Rook. Could someone please hit them both with a bat? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. For the more cautious of our number, use the margin for prudent buying opportunities. All right? So, oh. Your turn, rookie. <clears throat> all right, people, let's make some green. <laughs> that can't happen again. No, no, we'll be bankrupt. Yeah. Tell the brain trust have any hot ones? And save the cookie, I think. You know, I tried some chocolate covered, the blueberry filled, but pitch comes to shove. I'm gonna stick with the plain old original glazed. That's great. Hey, your kid, cute. Is he talking yet? He's two months old. Two months old? He should be learning second language. I'm happy the way he is, thanks. Yeah, why push the kid when there's wonderful opportunities working the fryer later at Burger King? Boyd, did anything happen in the Asian markets last night? UK was up, same with Hong Kong. Look, there was nothing came over the wire, no plagues, no world wars. I heard something big. What? Bill Gates is actually an android from the fourth dimension. It's all over the Star News. Stubby funny. Very funny stubby. Not a pretty big to me. Yes, you heard me. Trudy Esco Trill. What? Hey, 30,000 shares. What? Look, yes, margin. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. I I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs> you know, there's nothing quite like the thrill of spending other people's money. Tell me about it. I just tripled our buy on Lopez Construction. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Fly eye, my friend, those wings are not made of wax. Mm hmm Josh Kaplan just called. He said Meriwether's attorneys are all over him on this settlement. Need your John Hancock on your motion to withdraw your suit. Oh, I've been a little busy. Oh, yeah, sure. You're making bank is time-consuming. But no, no rush, no rush, you know, just the quicker we get this behind us, you know the drill. Yeah, well, who wants to waste time or money on depositions? My point exactly. It did. You know that we're not exactly after handouts anymore. Translation? Well, what I'm saying is the suit that Meriwether has against us, I mean, it really is between you and the Kaiser. So now that he's incapacitated, you, you change your mind. You just figure you'll pull the plug once and for all, right? Well, actually, I'm not thinking about him at all. Oh, thanks. Hey, man, I convinced you to file this racial discrimination suit. You remember? It was to save the firm, and it looks like it worked. So what, I should just drop it? Yeah, that was the plan. What happened with all this, um, whatever you decide to do, I'm behind you? What was that, lip service? No, I'm just saying, everything's going right now. Why mess it up? Oh, so, so your only concern is the firm? Exactly. Well, mine isn't. Damn it, Corey. You know, there are a lot of people out there who really need this place. So what? I should just take one for the team? It's not a crime, you know. Bottom line is that you were not exactly hurt by Meriwether. Because I left. What if I didn't? <sighs> what the hell? You know, I just... You, you, you do what you want, all right? We're talking huge, Harry. Bigger than Yahoo, bigger than Netscape. That's right, Harry. I'm telling you, this is the real deal. You're gonna love me. Thank me? You name your first child after me. <laughs> okay, you're the best. Bye. Hey guys. How you doing? Sweet. I guess that's good. Millionaires. When I was your age, I was still in love with Luke Perry. Who's Luke Perry? OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna go throw up. And if you call me ma'am, I'm coming back with an Uzi. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, Marissa, when you're right, you're right. Dad's already got his eye on a Cadillac. Dad can buy one in every color of the rainbow. The guy on the phone, one of my institutional investors. He just took 100,000 shares of Save the Cookie. Oh, cool. Wow. Can you believe this is happening to me? You raised them. Now I'm going to puke. Hey, watch them out. Steaks, porterhouse, marble you can die for. I really don't need this, Len. <laughs> Look at her, she's skin and bones. Oh, come on, Dad. He's still got the heart. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, in four days, when Save the Cookie hits the market, dinner's on me. It's still good, right? We're issuing a million shares. I've already got orders for a million five. And you don't have to drop by every day to check. He gets worried. Hey. All right, let me go to the shop. Vince is going to have a coronary. Can we stay, Marissa? Sure. You got school. Marissa has work. I think I'll buy a school. <laughs> hey, let's go. Come on. School. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Mm. You're not in school anymore, boy? What do you mean? Your obsession with blue chips. It's a real thing of its futures. Futures. No risk, no reward. No stones, no bones. There you go. Now take a look at these pork belly contracts I just bought. 200 grand? Buys a lot of spare rib, my friend. This contract's due 48 hours from now. You watch this price climb. This is a news watch special report from New York. Olga Ozzini. A light plane carrying the Federal Reserve Chairman is reported missing in an area north of Anchorage, Alaska, about 9.45 Eastern Time. State uh, and I just local got an officials email. have begun a massive search and rescue operation. For details, we go to Sophia Choi at the scene. Olga, officials here say the Federal Reserve Chairman had just started a three-day fishing vacation when his plane simply went off the radar. There has been on? no radio that contact chair's with the plane, so officials what? have... His plane went down. There's going to be a sell-off, four or five hundred off the down minimum. All right, let's not panic. One question, why not? Because they're going to find them. Well, we should buy, sell. I, I don't know. Marissa, Stu Wiley on one. Thanks. Hey, yeah. Stu. You're bad. So Wiley's tenement electronics. How much? All of it. Dow's off 60 points. All right, the people who lose in these situations are the people who sell. When the market's down, we're going to go buying, all right? It's under pressure, people. Yeah. No, no, we just found out ourselves. Down 80. Okay, we down can't 80. Stand this. I knew it. Up 10. There you go. Everything's stabilizing. Down 121. Damn, Damn. this is triple. They're holding a Lopez construction. Yeah. Margin? Yeah. How's that screwdriver? Down 7. Eight. Nightmare. What are we telling people? Cool heads, people. Cool heads. He knew. Blackstone knew. Just tell him. Oh, he knew. Two hours, the Dow Jones average has plunged nearly 800 points. The tech heavy NASDAQ more than 700. Has taken close Don't to tell me that, Dave. I need to dump these contracts. He knew. Gold's up 20 bucks. Everybody's dumping equities. Well, who, who's discretionary? Sanford, would you please put him into gold now? Son of a bitch. He knew and he didn't tell me. What are you talking Blackstone. Why wasn't even missing that? Then he made it go down. No, you can't do that, Ed. Ed, listen to me. Money is moving into bonds, okay? If you sell now, you miss the upside. Harry, I know that tech stocks are falling, but I need you to stay with me on this one, okay? No, he, he's not dead. His plane is missing. There's a dip. Of course, you're the client, Harry. Okay, but Harry, listen. Harry? Oh, God. Come on, listen to me, Ed. Ed, this is herd mentality. Not good, huh? Ed Feynman wants to liquidate his entire portfolio. Wait a minute, I thought bonds were steady. How did this keep up? Well, we, can, we can't afford to sit on our positions either. We don't start moving into bonds, you stick a fork in it, we're done. Look, I am aware of that, okay? But everything is falling so fast, I can't even get a price. You're supposed to be the bond guy. I'm doing what I can. Now, wait a minute, I told all my clients you're the best there is on the street, so you, you do better. in the entire building. Forget about Preston yeah, Food Jump High Tech. Now's off 900. NASDAQ dropping so fast they can't even compute it. I tried bailing our NAPLA systems. The price dropped six bucks before the order could even reach the floor. Nothing, nada. Nobody's buying. 
Oh, it's a bad dream. This has got to be a dream. I keep trying, damn it. Ah, oh, give me a break, Donnie. Cookie is a good company. But, no, I got that one. And 5,000 worthies on it, what? Come on, Ben. The price is down below 34 and a half. We're going to be lucky to dump this at market. Uh, all right, as soon as I hear, buddy. Okay, you big baby. I need a buyer! 8,000 blue point, 5,000 Worthington. I've got another 10,000 Prescott. Oh, God, we're dying here. We're dying. You dare hang up. <laughs> I have got Mike Sullivan on the line. 12 other lines stacked up. Okay, listen, Al, uh, did we ever talk about combat oh. pay? Ha, ha. You know, I don't think it's such a big deal, okay? We just got someone else to run the Fed. No one else has ever single-handedly kept the economy afloat. He's a genius. Oh, aren't we all? Tell everyone I will call them back and give me an open phone line. Okay, uh, how? As soon as I hang up, there's another call coming in. Just do it, David. Uh, I am not Marvel. Sell the damn Sasta for Christ's sake. Who oh, for Conklin or Jeff? Conklin has two million dollars with us. Can't Can't Will you stop eating? That was down twelve hundred points. What the hell is the circuit break? Another three hundred? Yeah, yeah, zero, zero. No, no, no. What's a circuit breaker? Market ball surge percentage. The exchange closes for an hour. They put him into place after eighty-seven to avoid a panic layoff. Well, is it good or bad? Good if everybody calms down. Yeah, bad if they don't. Gold, man. Well, give me something. Well, you have reason to be concerned. Damn it. Uh, my computer's down. What the hell's going on? We crashed. The entire mainframe? Looks like. Nice work with the computers, Dick. Oh, like it's my fault? Computers were your department. Nothing. Nora, call the computer company. Damn it. Why couldn't you wait to fly till after the new computer came? This is crazy. I, I've lost my signal. I, I, I can't get a line. We, uh, we, we're, we're flying by them without the computers here. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, well, I can't breathe. Oh! Marty! Marty! Come on! I don't know. Someone call 911! Relax, relax, relax. All right, give me a cup of aspirin. What? It actually works. I've got Tums. You're right, you're right, brother. Don't worry about the market. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. All right, all right. Think about your son. The panic on Wall Street shows no signs of ending. With only two hours left in the trading day, the Dow's lost nearly 1,400 points in what experts are calling the worst sell-off in recent history. BP's 130 overnight. Thank God. I can't find his wife. He's all right. Right? Normal sinus rhythms, 100 and steady. Your friend's fine. I had a heart attack. <laughs> you didn't have a heart attack. My, my, my chest, my... You had an anxiety attack. You need to just calm down. You're going to be fine. A case of nerves? This is what I stopped selling for? Shut up. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Uh. Okay, one crisis over, people. Let's get back to work. You know what would be really nice? If someone called someone to fix these damn computers. All right. Uh, Carl Kelly from Mace Kramer on the phone for you? Yeah, uh, in my office. Line six? I saw it. Okay, let's get you someplace more comfortable. I saw it. What? The long tunnel. The white light. I saw the chairman of the Federal Reserve. He was covered in white light. He was laughing at me. He's not the only one, sweetie. Come on. Well, good news is, market's closed. What? Carl Kelly from Mace Kramer just called. How bad? Seventeen million dollars. <laughs> the Dow's lost fifteen hundred points. Ninety percent of Cookies investors have jumped ship, and to top it off, we have a seventeen million dollar margin call. And it's only Monday. How in the hell are we going to come up with that much money before the market opens tomorrow? This happens to other people, did not to us. If Miss Kramer liquidates her portfolio, that's it. We might as well just close up shop. Even if the market recovers, we got nothing to get back in the game with. Well, we call a bank. Come or... on. If our own clearinghouse won't front us, Marissa, no bank will. Someone else might, though. Someone who's heavy into cash. Well, well. Good night. Good night. What a day it's been. Thank you for coming, Gardner. 
Not at all. I'm flattered you thought to call me. It isn't every day I'm brought in to rescue a struggling investment firm in the grip of a margin call. You look pallid, Martin. He's okay. Vitamin B keeps blood flowing. I won't pretty this up, Gardner. We need 17 million by the open of market tomorrow. It's a tidy sum. We can structure this however you like it. We could do one or two points over prime, a two-year note. What assurance do I have you'll even be here in two years? We get the 17 million, we'll trade our way out of this. No doubt, but if the chairman is found in so many tiny pieces, the market continues to fall. What then? Let me propose an alternate arrangement, one that I think may make this interesting. I will agree to loan you the 17 million if you will agree to repay me 20 million within 24 hours. That's a $3 million profit in one day. So, if we can't, then what? I take 51% of HSD and you all work for me. Well, I don't need your answer right away. Why don't you take tonight, think about it, and who knows, tomorrow morning, the chairman may be found alive and well, and the world will once again spin merrily on its axis. Hey, welcome to the new economy. Today, search and rescue teams are waiting for daylight to resume their efforts to locate the missing plane carrying the Federal Reserve Chairman. Officials admit with each passing hour, the hope becomes more remote. Across the United States, investors are liquidating their assets and converting their equity into gold and other staples. Guy, why is he so important? European markets have begun to feel Just the strain. This. Still, the most dramatic decline has been in our own market. On Wall Street, Monday, you know, I was thinking about taking Marcy up on an offer to sell us the new couch. The financial market's worst day since October Pan, 1987. Please. Panic has spread to Asia, where Japan's Nikkei index was off more than 15% from its high just one week ago. Now we go live to the trading floor at the New York Stock Exchange. <laughs> I'm Richard Saxon, live on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and it was a rough day on Wall Street yesterday. Many issues lost. Damn it, Kim, I'm trying to listen. Selling spread to virtually all sectors and it's industries. Kevin Hart. And you're not helping. Then take him in the other room. Insurance companies all hit hard. The tech-heavy Nasdaq lost more than eight percent. The once hot fiber optic internet group was not immune to the infectious decline and will go down in Wall Street history. You know, there are things a lot more important than chairman of the Federal Reserve. Even no, the Pam, there isn't. All right, the world's headed down the toilet. Also took a substantial hit. I don't have time for this. Healthcare and oil groups considered to be defensive investments also took a major slide on the day yesterday. The question now is, will the... Get it today. Here you go, boy. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I left Merriweather so I wouldn't have to work for anybody else. If you do this, at least we will be working. Damn train. Sorry, boy. Partners only on this one. The fact is, if we don't come up with 20 million by the end of business, we won't have a firm. On the other hand, we still have that five mil. Still unaccounted for. Still untouchable. All right, well, as the economy recovers. Are you watching the same news I am? Nobody's talking recovery. Yeah, that's the attitude. Damn it, Marty. I am thinking about my clients. I had the Rutiglianos turn down a $3 million offer from Brantford. Now, I can't get a nickel for them if I'm not in business. You know what? You just never had any balls, Marissa. You need to calm down, Decker, before you have another anxiety attack. <laughs> What, you think that's funny? No, but I think your balls are getting in the way of your brains. Right, you know what? I, I didn't start this place to work for somebody else. And you sure as hell didn't start it alone. Whoa, whoa. I almost died for HSD yesterday. <laughs> you, did, you did not almost die. General Custer, you just wet your pants. That's good. Go ahead. Just trivialize my malady. And while you're at it, why don't you just sell us all down the toilet for something really important, like having to work on Martin Luther King's birthday? They had a right to know about the lawsuit. What does working on Martin Luther King's birthday have to do with me fighting for what's right? I 
can make a room full of peer pressure. I'm just saying that maybe right now your only priority should be HSD. Market opens in 40 minutes. You know what? To hell with all of you. Sometimes, Marty. What? Come on, he knows that I didn't mean anything by it. Really? Are you happy that he's suing Meriwether? Come on, let's not lose focus here, all right? All in favor of Blackstone's loan. What about Corey? He's still part of this firm. We've got a quorum. Let's vote. All right. Marty, you want to call him or me? Hey, you never mind how we got it, Carl. We met the call. That's all you need to worry about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your lips to God's ear. Yeah. One day. Boy. Hey, you heard the latest? The plane was shot down by a Chinese missile. A couple Eskimos saw it. Yeah, right. Think about it. They kill the head of the Fed, our economy crashes, they reestablish the Ming Dynasty. There goes your pork futures. What are you kidding? Thanks. It's fried rice without pork. I'm betting on decisive market uptake. We are still in this, people. Woo! Oh, easy, easy, easy there. Sorry. Look at that, my hands are shaking. Yeah, at least we stand the margin call, huh? Thank you. Yeah, and Dr. Faustus thought he made a hell of a deal. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, a fat lady hadn't even cleared her throat yet. We have to come up with 20 mil in a falling market just to break even. We can't go down forever. Yeah, well, I call Branford Systems just in case they withdrew their offer to buy Save the Cookie outright. I mean, that family had $3 million in their hands, and I just grabbed it away. They have to know this is not your fault. Or they could just tell me to go to hell. You talk to them? Hey, listen. So I'm just going to go out there. Wait, wait, wait. We, we've got a firm in trouble here, Marissa. Not everything is about us, okay? Besides, I don't have a client with anything left to sell. Marissa, I've got James Thompson holding for you, line one. Hey, Nora. Talk about all the computer technicians. We're on the list. What's up with the new computers? Even with the pretty please, no can do until the check clears. I got it right here. This rate, there may be never. I'll get it. Marissa, you shouldn't have come. Is your mom here? She's at Aunt Norma's. How about your father? He's not doing too good. I figured as much. You're not his favorite person right now. Well, there's a shock. I want to explain. He's not really listening to anyone. Let me try. Sorry. Man's supposed to provide for his family. No one could have predicted this. Living this crap hole. Got me 10 hours a day. Why should I have expect any better? Oh, it's good. Len, your life is good. With Sarah and the kids. Who the hell was I to come off thinking I was some kind of a Donald Trump? Some guys are winners, some guys are No. Winners. You are not a loser. On the list of good things to have, money doesn't make the top ten. Sure. Look at you. Yeah? Look at me. I'm the one who screwed this up. It was my decision. I did it to myself. To my family, I let everyone down. Who the hell am I to come off thinking my dreams could be real? You leave him alone. I was just... You hurt us enough. Oh my God. 
that. I was out of my mind listening to you. Just get out of here. Come on, Sarah. Just That's get not... out of here. Sarah! Get out of my house. Go! Go! Prices continue to fall at this hour. Wall Street analysts yeah, I got fly with investors may lose nearly a yeah, trillion dollars in equity. A record sum it's just today. Are you sure about the coffee? Oh, decaf. Oh, yes. This is hell. Jessup sold at 11. And he only loses three mil. Yeah, but I got him a hell of a deal on T-bills. Well, that should bring a smile to his face. Vultures circle the dying, don't they? At least vultures don't smile. Come the Globe Gardener. You know the difference between a stockbroker and a pigeon, Martin? A pigeon can still make a deposit on a Mercedes. You should have told me. I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, I see the privilege of wealth. Oh, you give me too much credit, Martin. Although, I did think it odd. The image of the chairman clutching a rod and reel. Yeah, he doesn't really seem like the L.L. Bean type. No, of course not. And Alaska, of all places. Yeah, why would he go to Alaska if not for fishing? Why? Why? Perhaps he wasn't. Let's see. A plane from New York flying west over the 49th state. The surest way to destroy your enemies is to turn them into friends. Russia. He was going to Russia for those trade talks the State Department has been denying on a daily basis. And if that were true... It would surely rock the financial markets. By a few points, anyway. Okay, so you knew about the talks and you cashed out. Perhaps. Or I could have been extremely lucky. Yes, but as we all know, knowledge makes its own luck, especially when you are the only one with access to that knowledge. As you said before, Martin, some of us have earned the privilege. Yes, sir. D.C. couldn't let the country's top financiers struggle through the free market system. And the rich get richer. You should have told me. But I did, Martin. Over that gasoline they called espresso. Problem is, you weren't listening. The problem is that next time I would appreciate if your warning wasn't so obtuse. Actually, you were obtuse, Martin. My warning was abstruse. Devils in the details. But God... He slumbers between the lines. Although I enjoy nothing more than a juicy dialogue on theodicy, I have here a list of companies I'd like you to look over. This is half of the Fortune 500, the prices of which are all falling faster than the snows in Minnesota. Wait, wait, I, I, I don't understand. I thought that you have cashed everything out. I don't want to sell, Martin. I want to buy. Capitalism. A wonderful thing, don't you think? Marty, John Nissan, line four. Hi. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. Working for Blackstone won't be any worse than working for Meriwether. the power we have out. Do you ever think about it? People turn over their life savings. They win, they lose. It doesn't matter to us. We still get our commissions. We do have our expertise. Lynn Rotigliano lost $3 million due to my expertise. What does that say about me? What? That that garden of ours isn't all it's cracked up to be? Weeds are killing the roses. Yeah, but there are weeds. Lucky us. Buy, buy, buy everything that you can. 
Already 30% of the price. Stubby, Stubby, get your head out of your ass. I feel sick. Well, stuff another cannoli in your mouth and process this. Here, here, you too, boy. Ow, ow, ow. It's amazing. Blackstone is buying up everything on the streets. Well, in bad times, cash is king. King Kong will. This is a Newswatch special report from New York, Olga Ospina. Breaking Wait. news from Alaska. Newswatch has just learned that the missing plane carrying the Federal Reserve Chairman has been located in a remote area 200 miles north of Anchorage, Alaska. The Federal Reserve Chairman and his pilot are reported alive and well, which He's is a welcome to the He's survival as nothing short of a miracle. So can you, how did the chairman and his pilot survive nearly 48 hours in the Alaskan tundra? Well, you're not going to believe it, Olga, but with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I'm heavy into peanuts. Okay, the market's turning around, people. Bye, bye, bye. Marty, Neil, Jessup on three. What goes down, huh? All right, guys, we got 45 minutes. We can do this, people. We can do it. Go, 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 go. Unbelievable. You ever see anything like this in North Dakota, boy? Not exactly. That's why I'm here. Right on. They don't fault the Big Apple for nothing. Here. Yeah. Thought you were sick. No, just guess. I'm fine. I think the financials on the fault come now. Let's keep it moving, people. Let's go. News that the Fed chairman has been found alive sparked a late rally on Wall Street today as bargain hunters scooped up stock after shares hit record lows. Prices were dramatically up over the last hour, but only partially offsetting the substantial losses the market has suffered over the past two days of panic trading. Okay, people. I want to thank everybody for their efforts today. We fought the good fight. We hung in there until the end. So, uh... Finish up your orders, go home, kiss the kids, and uh, see everybody back here tomorrow. All right? When we officially become Blackstone Capital. Sarah, right. have the partners meet in the conference room in an hour, please. Thank you. made up a lot of ground in the last hour. But we're still eight million short. Well, it was fun, huh? Wonder which office Blackstone will pick. Hey, thanks for joining us. How short are we? Uh, uh eight million. What, $14 million, what is this? Sold index futures short. You did what? Play the downside. With what? We have no cash. The million dollar check for our new computers. Hey, it was off our books, but still in our bank. You played the float? During B school, I did that with my rent check. Listen, if Blackstone took over our company, new computers would be the least of our problems. So if you excuse me, I'll go back and fry some chicken. I was out of line, man. Marty, cut that check. Let's get it to Blackstone. It's my pleasure. <laughs> no question about it. When they hand out the schmuck of the day, there is only one contender. Uh, forget about no, it. No, not forget about it. I need to be thrashed. I need to be strapped to the public pillory with red ants crawling up and down my rotting flesh. Fine. How's Tuesday? Excuse me? 
The public pillory's free. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Damn it, Decker, what did you have for lunch? Oh, he was a very smart man, that uh, Mr. Steinberg. Who? You know, Steinberg. The good fences make good neighbors. You mean Sandberg, Carl Sandberg. Sandberg, right, that's Yeah, well, only it was Robert Frost, and I don't think this is what he was referring to. I'll tell you. A fence is a fence is a fence. A fence by any other name. Enough, enough. Guess in a pinch, this will have to do. See, that is exactly what I'm saying. Kept it warm for you. Pam. About this morning, I know I got carried away. You're entitled. I got scared, Pam. About you and the baby. Look, I said you were entitled. You don't have to be perfect, you know. So you're not mad? <laughs> I didn't say that. Go ahead. Say it. I love you. What was that? You aren't talking to some traitor in a pit. I love you. Sorry. How was that? So so. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Ooh. Oh, hold that thought. Someone needs changing. You know what? I'll take care of it. Hey, buddy boy. Daddy's home. Daddy's gonna rescue you from that mean old stinky diaper. <laughs> well, you like that, do you? Huh? No more stinky diaper for you. You are such a big boy. Hell of a day, huh? Yes, it was. Thanks, man. That's what I do. Oh. What you did was brilliant. No one else thought of that. Hey, come on, you already thanked me. Look, we almost lost it all today, and you know what I realized? Wouldn't have been the end of the world. Because when I saw Marty lying there... Come on, don't get all hokey on me. Oh, screw you. I'm entitled. Hell, I'll get out and out mushy if I feel like it. Because when I saw Marty lying there, I, I, I couldn't help but think... You know, what if he... Well, the bitch gets to you, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> Look, man, this is, uh, this is just a long-winded, roundabout way of saying that this lawsuit is something you have to do. And I should be behind you without questioning your motives or trying to talk you out of it. So are you? What? Behind me. I just said... No, you didn't. You said you should. There's a difference. Well, hell, I did. The hell, you did. I know what I said. But you know what I know? What? I know that we should continue this debate over a 12-year-old bottle of single malt. All right, well, I'm buying. The hell you are. <laughs>